Hello everyone, it's Steph from Steph Lee Films. I've released a series of A10 Mini Pro videos in the past two weeks showing you the official unboxing, first look, the complete run of the A10 Mini Pro, as well as how to use the chroma key effectively for your broadcast and live streaming. What I've missed out so far and one of the most requested videos from you guys is how to use the downstream key on the A10 Mini Pro. So you may ask, what is the function of the downstream key? Well, you can create an animated lower third, company logo on the top right, and many other users. The possibilities are endless, only limited by your creativity. So in this video, I will teach you the full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create these animated images and punch them onto the screen for that super professional look. I will be using Adobe Photoshop to create these logos, but for those who don't have Photoshop, don't worry. I will also teach you how to create these logos and images without Photoshop by using a program that you can download for free. So without further ado, let's dive right in. The first step is to create a PNG image using Photoshop. PNG stands for Portable Network Graphics. A key feature of PNG images is that it supports transparency, which is very useful for overlaying images over content of a website or other images. And this is exactly what we need for our downstream key. So you open up Photoshop, click on File, New, and create a document that is 1920 by 1080 pixels. I usually put 100 here for pixels per inch and leave the color mode to RGB 8-bit. This is where you need to pay special attention. Under background contents, you select transparent. And for color profile, I usually use the sRGB color profile. Then click create. Here you will see a new document being created. In this example, we're going to create a lower thirds graphic overlay. In the television industry, a lower third is a graphic overlay placed in a title safe lower area of the screen, though not necessarily the entire lower third of it as the name suggests. But usually it appears somewhere around here. And if you segregate this screen to the rule of thirds, you will see that more often than not, it appears in the lower third. So on our new document, click on the rectangular marquee tool and create a rectangle in the lower thirds area. Then fill this up using the paint bucket tool with color. Then I'm going to add another layer here and add another rectangle here just to make the design look a little nicer. And then fill it up with another color. Then I'm going to add a text here that says Steph from Steph Lee Films. Okay, there we have a very simple lower thirds graphic that we're going to use as our downstream key. So right now, we have two ways to import this into our A10 Mini Pro console. The first way is the most traditional way. So you click on File, Save As, select PNG as the format. I'm going to name it lower thirds PS1 and click OK. So now we have the file in our folder, which we are going to import from the media tab in our A10 software control. This I have shown you in the previous videos, but basically you just drag and drop the file onto the still section. So there you can see our newly created lower thirds graphic from Photoshop is now in our media. Okay, now I'm going to show you the second method of exporting the image from Photoshop directly onto the A10 Mini Pro. This is a much faster method than the previous one I have shown you. Now let's go back to Photoshop. Let me change the color from red to green so that we know that this is the second example. So we're going to click on File, Export, ATEM Switcher Media Pool. So under Media Pool Location, you can click on the drop down. As you can see, slot 1 is already taken up by our previous export. So we're going to choose slot 2 for this. We're going to name it Lower Thirds PS2. Leave everything else as is and click Export. So okay, now we go back to our ATEM software control and you can see our new image is already in slot 2. So either way, you are able to export PNG images onto your media tab on the ATEM Mini Pro. For myself, I strongly recommend using the second method, which is a direct export onto the ATEM Mini Pro from Photoshop itself. 
The reason being you have less files to handle outside of the console. And I've also heard from some viewers that some PNG images created using Photoshop seem to have some problems displaying as a downstream key. I'm not sure if it's the version of the Photoshop or simply because there were problems during rendering and creation of the PNG image. So again, my recommendation is to do a direct export to the ATEM switcher media pool. Next, I will teach you how to create a logo to be used as a downstream key. This is actually very similar to the previous lower third tutorial that I've just gone through with you. So now create a new document the same way as you did previously. Open up your logo in Photoshop. So for me, I will import my own logo here. As you can see, this is my company logo. So I'm going to drag the layer and put it on the new document and resize it accordingly. Since most of the company logos are going to be put on the top right, I shall put it somewhere here as well. And again, export it to the ATEM switcher media pool directly. I will name it company logo and assign it to slot 3 and click export. Go to the ATEM software control and you can see it here in slot 3. That's how simple it is. Remember at the start of the video, I talked about what if you don't have the Adobe Photoshop software? Don't worry, there's this free software called GIM and it's available for download on both Windows and Mac. I will put it down in the links below so you can download it directly from there. However, this software does not have the direct export to ATEM switcher media pool, so we can only do the traditional way of exporting it as a PNG and then copying it onto the media tab. After you have downloaded and installed the software, click on File, New. Click on Advanced Options here to expand your options. You can leave everything as is, except for this part filled with. You need to change it to Transparency, then click OK. As you can see, the interface is pretty similar to what we just did on Photoshop. So I'll just run through quickly here the steps. Create a new layer here. Click on the Rectangle Select tool and draw a rectangle in the lower thirds corner of this document. Fill it up with the Bucket Fill tool. Add another layer here. And repeat the Rectangle box plus Color Fill. Then we will add a text using the text tool button here. And once we are done, click on File Export and save it as lower thirds gim.png. So now we go to our ATEM software control and drag this GIMP created image onto slot 4. So now we have 4 images that we have just created that can be used as our downstream key. So right now we're going to test these 4 images to see how they look like when we overlay them as a downstream key during live stream. Go to switcher and media player. You can see that the default is still image 1 which is the first image we created on Photoshop. To see this image on screen, click on on air or auto. Okay, the difference between on air and auto is that on air is a straight cut transition whereas auto has a fade in and fade out effect. I spoke about this in detail in one of my last videos so if you want to learn more about it, you can click on the link above. We can see the second image by changing the media drop down here. And if we change the media to still 3 which is our company logo, you can see it appears in the top right. And lastly, still 4 which we created with the free GIM software. So now we have learned how to create these different types of PNG images to be used as your downstream key and how you can play around with the selection of the stills to overlay during your live stream. I will now show you a full example of how this can be used during your live stream. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Steph from Steph Lee Films. 
Today we're going to talk about two cameras that I own, the Panasonic GH5 and the Canon 5D Mark IV. They are both very good cameras, so just buy them if you can. I hope you like my video and do click on the subscribe button and the like button. And this is Steph, signing off. So what I just did was a very simple example of how you can play with the stills during your live stream when your speaker talks about certain topics and you can overlay the corresponding graphics to his speech. So a quick explanation for what I did. So for me, I started off with a Steel 2 company logo on air and the fade to black. So once the stream starts, I click on the FTB button to review myself. I introduce myself and click on Steel 1 as I do. Then I click on the still image of the GH5 as I talked about it and the still image of the Canon 5D Mark IV as I talked about it. Then I brought up the subscribe button and the like button and finally ended off the session with a full still image of my company logo. There's so many ways to get this done and the possibilities are endless and only limited to your creativity and the client's requirements. So there you have it. I hope this video has given you a good idea of what the downstream key function on the A10 Mini Pro can do and the endless possibilities that come with it. I have released a series of videos on YouTube recently to show why the A10 Mini Pro is definitely a piece of equipment that you will want to own if you are planning to get into live streaming or simply if you just want to upgrade your existing setup for broadcast. And before I end this video, I'd like to say it really means a lot to me if you found the information useful and if you can give this video a like or share it so that it encourages me to continue making such videos for you. If you want to learn more about photography and videography on this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.